Here we are, 2009. It's, it's uh, 150 years since the uh, um, publication of, of On the Origin of Species and, and 200 years since the birth of Charles Darwin. It amazes me that it's still controversial, that his theories should still create... And, and I don't know whether... It seems to be a new thing. Maybe it's... Uh, just, just good old right wing have decided. Let's let's have a, a little bit of a Barney here, and let's uh, go back on on what science has told us. Well, unfortunately, I think we live in an age of political and religious fundamentalism on many sides. And yes, I think there are people that would really want to turn the clock back. Um, and it really does seem to me that that's exactly what they're trying to do. I I, I actually wonder whether soon those same people are going to be telling us that the sun really does revolve around the earth. Um, so, um, yes, I think it's, I'm very saddened in a sense that Darwin's ideas still excite this kind of controversy. Um, although I don't think he'd be entirely surprised. Well, of course, I think it was Ronald Reagan who first realised that, 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 that the religious right are, are a, a very strong force in America when it comes to getting into power and, and they, they have a, a, a sort of very much, I kind of guess out of fear, they, they, they sort of unite very quickly. And I don't know, as a, on a commercial level, whether the fact that you, you kind of realise something like creation may have a sort of, you know, a wall to break through for some people. Uh, ironically, well, creationists would be the main ones. Yes, but before we get too complacent, us Brits, uh, about how enlightened we are compared to those sort of backwards Americans, <laughs> let, me, let me remind you yes, that, that a yes. recent uh, survey, uh, um, and I, I can't remember the exact number, but I think it was 29% of English science teachers believe... That, sci that creationism should be taught on the science curriculum. Now, so let's not be complacent about England. Um, you know, uh, yes, I think this film has a lot to show uh, uh, people here as well as that. I know it's based on your, on your, on your book and, and the idea that really this is as much uh, about a, a man or a, a man or a woman losing a beloved child as it is about the actual theories that, that, that Darwin came up with. Was, was that a sort of an important part of when writing the book that you kind of felt, well, for, for people to connect strongly here, you've got to realise this, this was a you know, real human being who, was, who had a, a major dilemma on his hands or whether that was something that you felt, I don't know whether it was something that you just felt was important to tell? I felt it was very important for um, the understanding of Darwin's big ideas that they were produced by a person who had had the experiences that he did and felt, well, I felt that this, this mingling, this mixing of personal experience and ideas was important for Darwin and it's, it's the essence of the film. Well, in many ways, it, it's, a, it's a, a Bible basher meeting a real Bible basher as in regard to the conflict between Emma and Charles, that, that she was a real believer and uh, he wasn't in, in regard to, uh, to God. This, mm. this, this, um, this notion of, of uh, uh, the, the love story that's at the centre of it and the, and the uh, issues that are brought up to it, I don't know whether in the researching or whether in the making of the film in any way altered your, your kind of previous perceptions of, of Darwin or, or his, uh, of, of the sort of man he was. Not just in any way, in every way. Right. Um, yes, uh, in every way it altered it, because I, I, I think, come with most people, only ever thought of Darwin as old. Uh, and although I thought of him as worthy of respect, I, I had never imagined that I'd come to adore him as I did. Um, he was a remarkable man, um, and a man who, when you read his letters and his journals and the, 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 mem the remembrances of his children, uh, the, the things that they wrote about him, just springs to life. Um, a, a, a wonderful mass of contradictions, an intensely shy, passionate man who's capable of being enormously funny, who's endlessly painful with his kids uh, in, in a, a way that you never imagine a Victorian father would have been an incredible rationalist who was nonetheless full of fears and anxieties, um, and, 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 uh, all of which make him so real and accessible. There's one phrase in the film that they took out of my book, and I think the way they, they, what they found in that phrase shows how their understanding of Darwin was right, and that was natural history of babies. Now, it's, it's a... It's, what he's saying, what 
what John Colley, the scriptwriter, had spotted in that was the link between personal experience, the father of his child, and Scientific ideas of yes. huge importance yeah. for you know, just our view of life. And the point was that Darwin had found in the link between his, his child, his observations of his child, and his observations of this orangutan, which is one of the wonderful mm. moments in the film, he had found a key to an understanding of human nature, animal nature, mm. yep. and natural life. Yeah. Rock and roll. Well, you, you managed to make me admire Darwin even more, so well done, both of you. Thank <laughs> you. Our time's up.